Contrary to what you might have heard, Red Dead Redemption isn't just Grand Theft Auto 4 with horses. The numerous similarities between the two games are obvious, especially where the HUD and controls are concerned, but there are enough improvements and new features here to ensure that Red Dead can still surprise you. <laughs> relax! Oh, man, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. You play as John Marston, a former outlaw who's trying to put his past behind him and be a family man. He's a very likable protagonist, and fortunately for you, after years of running with a gang of criminals, he's also a great shot with any weapon that you put in his hands. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, and even throwing knives have a place in your arsenal. And with the exception of sniper rifles, all of them can be used to lock onto enemies in the center of your screen before tweaking your aim to target specific parts of their bodies. It's a system that worked well in GTA 4, and it's one that works even better here. Not only because the lock-on system has been made a little less forgiving, but also because in Red Dead, Shooting at someone doesn't necessarily mean that you want to kill them. If you decide to work as a bounty hunter at any point, which is one of many optional jobs and activities in the game, you earn twice as much money for bringing outlaws in alive as you do for killing them. And if you're challenged to a duel, you become more famous for shooting a gun out of an enemy's hand than you do for filling him with lead. Either way, the duels are fun, and they get you into the habit of putting the slow-motion dead-eye mechanic to good use. The concept of fame is an interesting one in Red Dead, because while it makes you more recognizable to complete strangers, how they react to you depends on a different measure of your character, honor. When you're not wearing a bandana to hide your identity, Actions that are widely considered to be good or bad affect your honor rating accordingly. If you're a good guy, townsfolk will greet you and offer you discounts in their stores. But if you're a bad guy, they won't want to have anything to do with you. When you're witness committing a criminal act, you become a wanted man with a price on your head. The sheriff comes after you with a posse, and even if you manage to escape from them, the bounty doesn't go away, and it grows every time you commit another crime. This is a great evolution of the system used in GTA games, because rather than feeling like everyone has forgotten about your previous transgressions, there's always a chance that bounty hunters will show up, at least until you clear your name, either by paying off the bounty yourself or acquiring a letter of pardon. Regardless of whether you play as a good guy or a bad guy, Marston's compelling story plays out in much the same way. To say too much about it would be to risk spoiling it for you, so just know that you're going to meet and fight alongside a superb cast of memorable characters, you're going to be reminded of iconic scenes from western movies, and you're not going to want it to end, which you'll almost certainly think it's going to once or twice before it actually does. You ride with us again, Marston? Will you help me? Reaching the end credits could take you anywhere between 20 and 40 hours, depending on how many of the optional activities and side missions you spend time with. Red Dead Redemption's world is a far easier one to get sidetracked in most. That's because, in addition to the dozens of excellent and varied story missions, there are countless other opportunities to make money, to get famous, or just to have fun. While you're in town, you might choose to play poker, blackjack, or liar's dice. And when you're in the middle of nowhere, opportunities for gunfights and the like have a habit of presenting themselves or even forcing themselves upon you. 
Random strangers in need of help can show up at any time. Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. And while it's a little jarring to find two or three of them in the same predicament back to back, most of the time their requests are varied and fun for the short time that they take to complete. That's very sweet of you. Alternatively, you might choose to hunt some of the wildlife that helps to make Red Dead Redemption's world so believable. Beavers, birds, boars, bobcats, bears, buffalo, bighorn. There are loads of different species to keep an eye out for. And all of them can be hunted and cut up for valuable body parts. This is a messy one. Of course, some animals will hunt you as well. And if you're spotted by a pack of wolves or a couple of cougars before you spot them, you or your horse might come to an untimely demise. Your horse is your closest companion in Red Dead Redemption, and while keeping one long enough for it to become loyal will increase its energy bar so it can sprint for longer, you shouldn't get too attached to them. Not only can they be killed by outlaws and the aforementioned predators, but they also have a habit of behaving a little unpredictably at times. You might hitch one to a post and then find that it's moved when you get back. You might climb out of the saddle for a moment to pick an herb and find that your horse has disappeared when you get up again. Most of the time you can just whistle and your horse will come back to you from wherever it's ended up. But that won't work if you leave your horse unattended by a deep river and it stupidly walks into the water, never to be seen again. If you find yourself stuck without a horse, or just feel like getting a new one, there's some fun to be had catching a wild one with your lasso and then breaking it in via a simple minigame. Come on! Come on! Here they go! In addition to all of this great single player content and all of the challenges and minigames contained therein, Red Dead Redemption boasts a good number of multiplayer modes for both competitive and cooperative play. Most are variations on basic deathmatch and capture the flag themes, with the cool twist that they all start with a Mexican standoff. Lawmen versus Dutch's gang. You. Prepare yourselves. Draw your gun. Your gang took victory in the showdown. There's also a free roam multiplayer option, which lets you take your persistent character, who levels up and gains access to better weapons and mounts, online with up to 15 other players and just do whatever you want. You can shoot each other, you can cause trouble with townsfolk, you can form posses to complete gang hideout missions, or you can become the session's most wanted outlaw and then kill or steer clear of any other players who come looking to collect the bounty on your head. It really is a lot of fun, and while it's unfortunate that the customization options for your character are limited, you at least unlock lots of new skins as you play. Between the free roam and competitive modes, there's enough great multiplayer content here to keep you playing Red Dead Redemption long after you've watched the credits roll at the end of the story. You'll almost certainly encounter some minor bugs and glitches during your time with Red Dead Redemption, but none of them are so significant that they detract from what is a very special game. Think about every great moment you remember from a spaghetti western. Put them all into one 20 to 40 hour epic feature Picture yourself in the starring role and you have some idea of what you can expect.